Today in the Joy of Editing, we're taking a look at the Remove Color Cast filter found in Nick 8 Color Effects. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Happy holidays to you and your family. Today, we're continuing our journey through Nick 8 Color Effects, and we're taking a look at the Remove Color Cast filter to quickly clean up unwanted color tints and get more natural looking color. And here's a quick heads up. If you're thinking about Nick Collection 8 or any DxO software, you can grab 15% off new purchases with my code Dave Kelly. Links are in the description and you can try any app free first. If you use my links, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thanks for supporting the channel. Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. I have the Remove Color Cast filter over here in the filter stack. It's a simple and easy filter to use. As you can see, this image has a bit of a green color cast to it, and we can remove that very easily with this filter. We have two sliders. We have color and we have strength, actually three and opacity. Right now the filter's off, I'll click right here in this checkbox and turn it on. And basically what you're trying to do here, we have a green color cast, so you wanna slide your slider into the green area. And watch what happens when I do now, it defaults here to the very left at zero degrees, and then we can move it to the right. And we also have strength, and it defaults at 50%, which is a very good starting point. So watch, I'm gonna start to drag this over, and just look at your image as you're doing that, and stop where you think it looks the best. And I think it looks good right here at 150 degrees. Now, if I take this strength slider and drag it to the right, you can see like magenta in there because magenta is the opposite of green. Therefore, we're adding magenta to remove that green color cast. OK, so I'm just going to pull this back till it looks right. And I think maybe, you know, right about here should do the trick. Let me uncheck this. Here's before. Here's after. And of course, you can click this compare button, left click and hold down to see the before and after. You can see a split screen here of the before and after, or you could do a top down before and after, click this button and do a side by side. I'm gonna click this button to go back to compare. Again, if I left click and hold, there's before and there's after, but it's just that simple to use. And of course, you always have the opacity slider that you can pull back if you need to. So that's our first example. And now for the second example, we have this factory worker. It's a little bit of a blue color cast. So let's see if we can correct that. Right now we're set at the default settings. The filter is shut off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And so what we wanna do is move this more towards blue. So let's drag this across here and look at the image as you go. And I'm gonna go over to right there and let your eyes be your guide here. You can see when I shut this off, the overall blue color casts throughout the image. And then when I turn it on, you can see now we're more like white up here. So that's really nice. So let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. If you need a stronger effect, just drag this to the right. Maybe right about here looks pretty good at 73%. Here's before and here's after. So it does a really great job. And now let's move on to our third example. This one's not too bad, but I think we can help it out. There's a little bit of a blue, maybe a slight magenta color cast. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Again, the default setting, let's move this to the right and stop where we think it looks good. And just let your eye really show you what is right for you. And I think I'm gonna go to right about there. Let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. And again, we can play with our strength. And again, I'm just letting my eye tell me what's right. It will tell you. If it looks good, it's right. If it doesn't look good, it's wrong. And I think I'll go to right there, 80%. Let me shut it off. Here's before, here's after. See the flesh tones. And that's really what I'm looking at here. I think these flesh tones look a lot more natural. Again, here's the before and here's the after. Let's try it out on this one. This one definitely looks magenta to me. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And I'm going to take the color slider and we're going to drag it to the right and stop where we think it looks the best. And I'm going to keep on going here. It's getting better. It's getting better. And I don't know, maybe right about here. Let me give it more strength. Yeah, that's helping. I'm thinking maybe right about here. Let me shut this off. Here's before. 
and here's after. Again, before and after. Yeah, that's a pretty good improvement. And now for the final example, this monkey. It looks a little bit on the bluish magenta side, so let's see what we can do for this one. Right now the filter is off. Let's turn it on. Let's drag our color slider and stop where we think it looks good. And I think it looks good. Maybe right there. Let's increase the strength a bit. Let's move this to the right over to, let's try that 75%. Let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. Again, before and after. It's close. You know, you could play around with this a little more and see if you can tune it in a little better, but I think, I think it's pretty good right there. Let's go to the split screen view. Okay, there's before and here is after. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good improvement. Well, there it is, everyone. That was the Remove Color Cast Filter in Nick 8 Color Effects. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.